All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking at some pavement system design in the transportation engineering section of this civil FE um, portion of the test. Um, in this section, very important to note that you're gonna to have to have some prior knowledge. Um, and so it's good that you're watching this video because what I'll be going over isn't necessarily in the FE manual. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so number one says, what is the primary role of moisture content in influencing subgrade performance in pavement design? All right, so when we think of subgrade and we, when we think of pavement design, you have, I just wanna give you a visual of what this kind of looks like. All right, so my blue is going to be my asphalt. And this is why I said prior knowledge is pretty key because I'm not really um, giving you this information. And then you're gonna have subgrade. And the subgrade normally, um, depending on you know what different types of soils you have, you may have two different types of you know soils, and that's in red, right? And that's your subgrade. Right? The blue is the asphalt. The subgrade is anything below that that is soils, right? So, um, let's start out by going through. Um, our given fine formulas sequence. So what are we given? Uh, we're given, you know, a question. We're not given any variables or anything. So this is kind of like not applicable. What are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find the primary role moisture content uh, of subgrade performance. Are there any formulas needed? In this case, not applicable. All right, so what's our answer? So A, uh, the moisture content determines the soil type, no, I would, I would, I'd, I don't think that's the case. Uh, what about um, B? Moisture content affects the volume change, a characteristics of soil. So I know from Geotech that that actually is, um, in fact, true. Um, moisture content directly determines subgrade strength subgrade strength is a number of factors it's not just the moisture content it's also like things like compaction um there's a few few different things that that determine your subgrade strength so i would say no to that so nope um, moisture content has no significant impact on pavement design. I, th I, I believe that it does. So just from picking answers, I'm going to go with B. Um, and I wanted to point out a few other things that is important when it comes to, uh, subgrade and how moisture content affects, you know, thing so um, moisture content does have some impact moisture content affects the volume change characteristics of soil so when you have high moisture uh, it can lead to swelling um, in expansive soils um, and low moisture um, can result in soil shrinkage right um, also things to think about is uh, excessive moisture can weaken the subgrade, uh, causing like instability and settlement issues. 
and then uh, proper drainage measures are necessary to maintain uh, moisture levels uh, and prevent, you know, detrimental effects on your pavement performance. So just some extra things to kind of keep in mind uh, if you're given some conceptual questions on this exam when it comes to pavement systems design. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say if you're looking to pass your civil FD exam within the next 90 days, then you definitely want to check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.